While most 20th century battles were fought on the battlefields, a new kind of warfare is expected to take over the world in a few decades. After years of belligerence and endless one-upping, the United States is finally fighting for control of the Taiwan Strait. And in a surprising maneuver, the US Space Force has deployed a scheme almost a hundred years in the making. Developed as part of Project Thor during the Cold War, the mystery weapon involves nine-ton tungsten rods that are dropped from orbit. As the telephone pole-sized rods fall from the sky, the object is supposed to reach ten times the speed of sound, hitting the Earth with as much power as a nuclear weapon. While challenging the 1967 Space Treaty without technically breaking the agreement, the United States might just be on the verge of weaponizing outer space with its kinetic rods from God. Hit from above. Going back to the earliest days of the Cold War, outer space became a crucial subject of study to use it for warfare applications. However, one of the most significant problems of using space as a postmodern battlefield is that nuclear, biological, and chemical weapons in orbit have been banned since the Outer Space Treaty of 1967. Still, there may be a loophole that the United States has tried to take advantage of for decades. Instead of relying on chemicals and engineering for its devastating impact, a new kind of weapon could depend solely on its mere kinetic force. In fact, Earth-side kinetic strikes have already been used as far back as World War I, when masses of heavy metallic objects were dropped by aircraft on top of enemy positions, with the effect being proportional to machine gun fire. During the Vietnam and Korean Wars, there was some use of lazy dog bombs, a kinetic projectile shaped like a conventional bomb that could reach 500 miles per hour during its fall, penetrating up to 9 inches of concrete. However, all rules change in orbit. In a kinetic orbital strike, a solid object would be dropped from orbit towards a target, and the sheer power of the kinetic impact would be similar to the explosive yield of a ground-penetrating nuclear weapon. Enter Project Thor, a long-rumored program that dwells on these matters and is developed by the United States Air Force. Rods from God While the New York Times referred to the concept as tungsten thunderbolts, a more common nickname is simply Rods from God. The weapon system would supposedly involve a satellite carrying a magazine with heavy objects, most likely telephone pole-sized kinetic projectile rods made of tungsten, each weighing around nine tons, with fins attached to keep them straight. These sorts of destruction weapons would orbit indefinitely in space until needed, and they would always be ready to be whisked into any corner of the world within minutes. Powered by gravity alone, the rod would then be directed toward a target while gaining tremendous velocity and speed. Going faster than five miles per second in orbit, the weapon would eventually reach an impact speed of an eye-opening Mach 10. Initially developed by former Boeing operations researcher Jerry Parnell, the weapon's concept has inspired more than one science fiction story, especially as the originator later became a writer. Still, Many believe the rods from God could actually be ready for deployment soon, or that they're already lurking in space. A New Century For decades, the American military has spoken in hints and whispers about its plans to develop kinetic weapons in space. And while no Pentagon official has yet acknowledged how far along the research is, or even confirmed that any sort of effort is underway, the concept persists to this day. In 2002, a RAND Corporation study named Space Weapons Earth Wars dedicated several pages to the different applications of kinetic weapons technology. At a time when the Pentagon was on an all-time high alert after the September 11th attacks, an Air Force report gave what analysts call the most detailed picture since the end of the Cold War of the United States' efforts to turn outer space into a battlefield. Released in November of 2003, the United States Air Force Transformation Flight Plan Report makes American space supremacy a top-ranking priority for the 21st century. The document runs through dozens of research programs designed to ensure that America can never be challenged in orbit, and they range from anti-satellite lasers to weapons that would provide the capability to strike ground targets anywhere in the world from space. 
In addition, the publication references non-nuclear hypervelocity rod bundles in its outline of future space-based weapons, and claims that the United States sought to use the kinetic weapon as a bunker-busting platform. Upon hitting the Earth's surface, these tungsten rods could penetrate hundreds of feet into the ground, releasing built-up kinetic energy and creating an explosion equivalent to 11.5 tons of TNT with zero fallout. However, according to rumors that surfaced after the Air Force report was published, if the so-called rods from God ever materialized, it wouldn't be for at least 15 years. Several detractors spoke out about the development of such weapons, claiming that it would also prompt many countries to respond with something similar, potentially sparking a worldwide arms race in orbit. Soon, the rumored project went dark once again. Impossible price tag. According to several experts, the biggest fault of the rumored project has always been money. In 2020, the cost to carry a single pound into space was around $10,000. With the rods weighing almost 10 tons each, the project became cost prohibitive. But despite the hefty price tag, many kinetic weapons concepts have continuously re-emerged since the end of the Cold War and some of the technology behind the rods from God has somewhat been used by the American Armed Forces. In 2012, Naval Research claimed the successful use of a 25-pound hypervelocity projectile with 32 megajoules of energy that penetrated seven steel plates. And as recently as 2020, a 100-pound modified kinetic weapon fitted with detachable blades for extra impact was dropped from an aircraft on top of a terrorist vehicle. Ultimately, it is believed the rods from God could become a reality in the next few decades if engineers and project planners can work out the exorbitant price tag. New Beginnings In 2018, the Chinese government released CCTV footage showing three wide-area vehicle scaled-down models involved in an aircraft air release test. Conducted in the Zhuquan Satellite Launch Center of China, the three models then fell into a free-flight state after being lifted to high altitude by a balloon. During the freefall, the objects exceeded the speed of sound, but their parachutes finally opened to land and recover. According to netizens, this unique and strange test indicated that the ultimate rods from God weapons were copied by China and will soon be launched. Meanwhile, in a meeting with the United States National Space Council, Former President Donald J. Trump declared that it was not enough to have American presence in space, but that complete dominance was a necessity. That day, Trump directed the Department of Defense and the Pentagon to establish the sixth branch of the United States Armed Forces, the Space Force. Inaugurated the following year, the ever-growing organization is also fully supported by President Joe Biden's administration. Notably, the Space Force's 2022 budget request amounted to $17.4 billion, a significant increase from the previous year. If accepted, the budget would grow the service by up to 8,400 Space Force satellites from the Army and Navy to the new service. In addition, the Space Force would finance more than $800 million in new classified programs, perhaps enough to fund the Rods from God program once and for all. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed the mysterious story behind Project Thor, or are interested in similar videos about history's greatest weapons, subscribe to this and all our Dark Documentaries channels, where we publish new content regularly. Stay tuned.